Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to use Axios in ReactJS. At the first step, let's install Axios using npm i axios dash dash save in our VS Code terminal. Hit enter until Axios is completely installed. Perfect. Let me close the terminal. And here, uh, let's create a component so we can work with. Let's call it Axios app, for example, the JS. It's going to be our component and let's import react at first and then expert default the name of the component is axis app and curly braces and we need to return the template the fragments and wait uh, i forgot to add the function keyword okay and this is going to be our component. Well, what Axios does is to help us fetch some data from an API URL, actually. And if we import it inside any component, we can apply it to extract data. Let's create a const variable as API URL. You should uh, paste your API URL here where the data exists. And uh, all we need to do is to call Axios, which is imported here. And after Axios, we need to apply get method since we are going to extract data. And inside get, we need to pass the API URL. And then we can actually do whatever we want with the response. Well, Axios has this ability to parse uh, the data to JSON. So here we can do whatever we want. For example, let me console log data here. Okay, response. Dot data. You know, uh, the response has a lot of fields, but data is the one that we need where the content exists. Okay. And, uh, okay, let's also catch the errors here. Catch. The argument is error. And uh, let's simply console log any error. Console log. Okay. Great. Well, what we do is to pass the API URL to Axios function and Axios fetches the data and parses it to JSON and uh, we are going to console log the data part of this JSON object here. Let's import our component inside after JS. Import Axios app was the function name and let's also add the tag of Axios app here. Save it and let's take a look at the browser, right click and go to inspect, go to console and as you can see there's something called object here which is the JSON object actually, the data part as you can see. These are our code fields, the content, author and so on. The API URL generates some codes. Okay. Uh, for example, I only uh, want to access the content of the code so I say dot content here and if I refresh the page all I see is the code content, yeah, as you can see. And then anytime I refresh the page, I see another code. You can also access other data fields of the object. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching.